Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. So, I've been trying very hard not to buy anything pen related for a while. I can't exactly say I've been doing a no buy because it wasn't intentional. I was just trying to not buy stuff. Well, all that went out the window this week because I needed some retail therapy and my retail therapy has arrived. I should say the first installment of my retail therapy has arrived and this is thanks to Endless Pens. Yes, their website and their emails are so tempting and so bad. And you might recall a couple of weeks ago I was complaining that their Robert Oster Green inks were on sale and I was trying so hard not to buy any. But I, I said if they ever had blue inks on sale, heaven help me. Well, the blue inks are on sale this week, so heaven help me. But I, I was able to um, exert some control over myself, otherwise I would have two or three of these boxes <laughs> from Endless Pens. So I, I very carefully and intentionally purchased things from them. So I wanted to share with you what I purchased. So now I have to cut open the package, which I'm doing with my trusty, deadly letter opener. Yeah, I think there are some murder mysteries where somebody is killed with a letter opener, and I can completely see that because oh, I can really do some damage with this letter opener. And I have to be careful not to do some damage to myself because it is very sharp. And I did use my knife sharpener and sharpen this, but I don't know if that helps very much as far as opening things goes. But it probably did increase the chances of me hurting myself. Oh, and you know what? There's nothing on the screen for you to look at. So here's Bobo. We haven't seen Bobo for a while, so say hello, Bobo. You can, um, you can talk to Bobo while I'm opening my package. And um, I've really been enjoying the videos from um, Inside Kimmy's Mind. They are just so beautiful and so well edited. And I always think that my videos are way too long and disjointed. And if, I, if only I could edit my videos the way she does, they would just be beautiful and succinct. I mean, all of her videos are, I think they're all less than five minutes. I can't do anything for less than five minutes because, you know, I'm just very long-winded and I'm trying to figure out how to open the box here it is very well taped which is not a bad thing it's only a bad thing when you're trying to get into it so I'm thinking that this might be it yes so again is anybody interested in listening to me struggle to open a box probably not but am I gonna edit this out Probably not. So, ah, 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 I got it. Oh dear. Styrofoam peanut cascade. Okay, so I'm going to try to do something with all these packing peanuts. Oh my goodness. These things are like tribbles, they just multiply and get everywhere. I ordered a typewriter a while back. And it came packed in styrofoam peanuts. And I'm still finding peanuts everywhere because it was a gigantic box full of packing peanuts. Okay, so I'm just gonna take stuff out so we can see what we have here. There's that. And trying not to let the peanuts escape from the box. And some ink. Now is that all that we have in here? Okay, I think that's it. Ooh. And there wasn't a packing slip. I think there's usually a packing slip, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure I remember what I bought. Okay. First of all, let us look at this washi tape. Yes, Endless Pens now has washi tape. And I have to say, I am so disappointed because when I was placing my order, they have three different rolls that are created by, I think they're created by the same artist. You could buy them individually or you could buy a pack of all three. And of course, when I was placing my order, the pack of all three was sold out. 
So I bought the two that I liked the best, but then <laughs> I was looking at their website the next day and the pack of all three has been restocked. Of course. But this one is called, ooh, does it have the name on it? I'll have to look the name up, but I think it's called Coffee Steam. It's so cute. It's just brown swirls, which looks like coffee steam. Did I mention that I just got home from work and I found this package on my porch and I had to open it immediately? It's the first time I've had to, meet, to immediately open a package in months. And also, in fact, you might remember that I was talking about my summer pen frenzy and all of those pen packages are still waiting to be opened, but I am going to get to them. I, I feel the urge to make videos rising inside me. So the videos of my pens are coming as they are languishing away in their packaging, waiting for me to open them. But uh, yes, I just got home from work and my light is fading fast. So hopefully there is lo enough light for us to see everything. And this one I don't remember the name of, but it is just so pretty. It's this beautiful floral. I love florals, I can't help myself and then kind of a swirly watercolor purple. Oh, it's so pretty. And then the third one was, um, the name of it was something like industrial or something like that. And it looked like, to me it looked like pieces of notebook paper with the lines on it. And then it had other shapes and colors and things on it. And it was nice, but I was going to limit myself to either the pack of three or just two rolls individually. So I picked the two rolls that I liked the best. Okay. I don't know if my letter opener can cut through this tape. Maybe I can peel it off. Ooh, it's going to be so loud. Okay. I think I might have to um, do some editing here because it's going to be loud. remember on Mork and Mindy when Mork was always trying to rescue the eggs and he would toss an egg in the air and say fly be free that's what I feel like now I am I am rescuing the ink from its packaging oh Mork and Mindy those were the days I've often thought about adopting Shazbot as my new curse word of choice Ooh, and I have one more that's resisting the packaging Okay, he is now free of packaging. So let's take a look at what we have here. So I chose two inks based on other people's recommendations and two that I myself have been interested in and then one that I was suckered into because it is an Endless Pens exclusive and you know me in exclusive inks. I cannot help myself. So first of all, we have Tranquility. And this is a favorite ink of Chris Sines. So I thought I would give this one a try. And I also have to say, I don't think I have, I might have samples of a couple of these. I know one of them I have a sample of. But um, yes, I'm buying bottles without buying samples first. So shoot me, what can you do? Okay, this one is recommended by Amanda B. It is Soda Pop Blue and it's a bright blue with some nice sheen and I know I'm gonna love it so of course it made sense for me to get a bottle of it and then we have Great Southern Ocean this was one of the first inks I ever swatched on my channel and I really enjoyed the samples so now that I have the chance to buy a bottle I really wanted it and the last one is Gray Seas and I think it's kind of similar to Great Southern Ocean they're both kind of blue gray but I liked both of them and I thought they were different enough that I would enjoy a bottle of each one. And finally, we have the Endless Pens exclusive. It is called Tampa Bay. And this looks like a very dark, lovely blue, so I can't wait to swatch this one and see what it looks like. Okay. So, let us start with Tranquility something that I am trying to achieve is tranquility. I need, I need to be very, very zen. I need to be very zen. And fountain pens help me do that. 
So it's very interesting the way they have their ink categorized on the Endless Pens website. They had the green inks on sale, and some of the ones in their green categories I felt like were more blue. And then this one, Tranquility, is looking very green to me, but it's categorized under the blue inks. But, you know, some of them are very um, changeable. They're kind of subjective. So I guess this is one that falls into that hard to categorize category. So this is Robert Oster. Tranquility. Ooh, and I can already see that lovely shading. See, like right now, I'm I'm wiping off my uh, my glass nib. These are the things that I should edit out. This is like dead air on the radio. It's a bad thing, right? I don't know. Tell me your thoughts on editing videos. Do you think the video should only be the essential parts of the video or should it just be life as it is lived? Oh, I just stuck my finger in that. Ooh, it's going on very dark. And I always feel like Robert Oster inks are a little on the dry side. And this one again is it's feeling a little dry to me. It's like it's it's hesitating to come off of the Q tip. But it is giving us a drip. And usually those inks that feel kind of dry do not want to drip. Okay, so we're gonna set him aside. And I could see the pink sheen on the lip. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Again, the light is fading, the light is fading. All right, next up we have Soda Pop Blue. And this is one that I'm very excited about because I love blue, obviously, but it just seems to be, you know, right, right in my ballpark. It's right up my alley. All right, oop, is that a smear? What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay. Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue. Ooh, I'm seeing some lovely shading on that as well. All right. Ooh, and my my Q tip is having a little drip there. Ooh, this one, there's a hair on my Q-tip. Um, but yes, this one seems very wet. Much wetter than the last ink. And of course, we're going to get a big drip out of this one. All right. Very nice. I see some sheen ahead. And... Okay, so this is Great Southern Ocean. Ooh. Gus's dinner is ready. Gus has not been well lately, so I've been cooking him special food, which of course he enjoys immensely. What man doesn't love it when you cook for him? But um, yeah, so his, his special food is ready. So he'll be thrilled to eat dinner. Okay, so Robert Oster. And this is Great Southern Ocean. And like I said, this was one of the first inks that I ever swatched on my channel. I was, I was deep into my, um, I guess it was a blue ink marathon last year. I actually did 91 days of different blue inks, but I didn't start documenting it until June 1st. So June was the last 30 days of my 91 days of blue inks. But I think this was maybe day two 
of the inks and I just fell in love with it. I, I always go for the bright blues, kind of like the soda pop blue, but this was the first darker blue that I really fell in love with. And it is just so gorgeous. And I knew ever since I swatched it that when I had the chance, I wanted to buy a bottle of it. So now I have a bottle of it, so I'm very happy. That is so pretty. All right. And then next up, we have Gray Seas. And this is a... I don't think it's a newer ink, but it's newer to me. I have noticed it lately. And I just found the color so interesting. Troublemaker has really spoiled me. Not spoiled me, but really affected me. Because all of their beautiful kind of pastel-y shading inks have just made me fall in love with that quality. And this Gray Seas kind of makes me think of that. And again... I'm buying a bottle of this. Um, gosh, I can't remember if I have a sample of this or not. But um, I definitely haven't used this ink enough to know if I will like it. But I'm pretty sure <laughs> that I'm going to like it. So let me see. And they spell gray with an E. So again, some lovely shading going on there. And I also have to mention about Great Southern Ocean. I've probably mentioned this before, but one of my favorite historical figures is, um, shoot, his name has just flown out of my head. I think it's the blue ink. The blue ink has made me forget myself. But look at that, that is so pretty. But again, it's feeling very dry. It's like it doesn't wanna come off the Q-tip. And I'm really scrubbing it, trying to get it to lay down some ink. But I did get a nice drip there. Gosh, I'm so embarrassed now that I have brought up this historical person and now I can't remember what his name is. <sighs> Good grief. My brain, my brain has left my head. I need a vacation, which I'm going on very soon, I am happy to say. Okay, oh, I almost forgot to mention, last up, we have the new Endless Pens exclusive ink, Tampa Bay. I'm not a fan of the Buccaneers, but I'm sure I could enjoy the ink named after their area. So this is Robert Oster. Tampa Bay. I don't know what color the Buccaneers uniforms are. I don't think they're blue. But again, this ink has nothing to do with the Buccaneers. The ink is about the bay itself. Okay. Whoops. I think I might have made a mess there. Ooh, my. This is very dark and wet. Very pretty. And can we get a little drip? Very nice. It's kind of reminding me of um, Baltimore Canyon Blue. Mm, very pretty. I need to get out my swatch cards and do some comparison, but I think the, the light is fading too fast for that to be effective right now, so I might do that later. Okay, so let's bring these guys back in the frame. Okay. First up, we have Tranquility, which does have some nice shading, and it's a, it's a lovely greenish teal. It does have some sheen, 
if we can see the sheen, it's, it's around the edge of the dark area. So some pinkish red sheen, I think we can see that. Again, with the light fading, it's, it's hard to show it. And then we have the soda pop blue. Again, it looks like that has some nice shading. And it's that deep, vibrant blue that I just gravitate towards all the time. I don't want to think about how many inks I have that are this color, <laughs> but they're so pretty. And again, a little hint of sheen. Very pretty. And then next up is Great Southern Ocean. And this has some some dark red sheen on it. Oh, I just think this ink is so beautiful. Whoops. All right, y'all, don't get stuck to each other. They're still kind of wet. Oh, I just thought of his name, Shackleton. Ernest Shackleton. Um, so this one looks like it has some nice shading, but I don't see any sheen. It is still drying a bit, but usually if the sheen is going to come out, it would have already shown itself by now. But that is just a beautiful color. I think I'm really going to enjoy that. And then finally, we have the exclusive ink, Tampa Bay. And again, this one is still drying, but I'm seeing some little hints of sheen coming out there. Alrighty. So there we go. That is my Endless Pens haul for today. And it has cheered me up so much. And so has being with you. So I hope you have enjoyed this video as well. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.